Hello, thank you for tuning in. This is our Sound of Music Foliage Backdrop Tutorial. We're going to be focusing on this main green piece of fabric that will be hanging on stage for Sound of Music. And there are going to be three different ones. And I'll show you how that all works together after we work on these all these little textures and this this shape so stay tuned hi okay so what we're gonna do is based on those images we looked at earlier we're gonna just roughly draw in the shape of some leaves and for big pieces like this a lot of people will draw a grid on their piece and a grid over what the designer gave us which was that green thing that we looked at a minute ago they'll draw a grid over that and then using string and measurements they'll make sure they get it just exactly right just like the designer did but for this since it's just a little practice we are going to use our best ability to copy it just by looking at the picture and after i draw this line in we're going to go in with different colors of green paint and work out the green leafy texture. And I don't know if you remember, but that picture that we looked at had about three to four different shades of green on it. We're going to do our best to watercolor this little practice sample just with stuff we have here at home. And I've got stuff from Blick Art Supplies. Some of it is acrylic paint, some of it's actually watercolor. But honestly, if you just water down some acrylic paint, it behaves quite the same as watercolor. And that's what we're gonna be doing later. Make sure it's leafy for Sound of Music. We've got our three colors here. Look at that. We've got a dark green, a really light green, and like a middle green. And I've also got some water here just to make them mix pretty good. Okay, and we've got our reference image. We need to keep looking at that constantly. That way we make sure it looks as close to what the designer wants as we can. And I've got a couple different sizes of brushes. I've got this big old one. Well, it's not big, but like compared to what we're doing, it's pretty big. And then we've got these three smaller ones for some detail, just in case we need that. We're going to start off with the big one. Get this dark green going. Yes, and it's darker. As you can see, it's like darker, closer to the edge right there so that's how we're gonna start oh wow that's working off pretty good a good start and I don't know if you remember but for Winnie the Pooh we also had big foresty drops like this there were about two of them yep there were two of them and they hung right above the Hundred Acre Wood there. It's a really good show. So pretty. And we're gonna go all the way around the edges here. Oh, and these little, these little spots here, those are gonna be cut out of the drop so that we can see through it. Since we have three drops layered on top of each other, it'll give it a good dimensional look because you'll be able to see the other drops through those holes be so cute so real and foresty mm
and I'm just gonna keep like squishing it on there to make it look planty. There's no need to really like brush it on because that'll make it look too smooth and that's not what plants look like. They're just organic. You get to just make it up with plants. I think that's why Winnie the Pooh was so fun to paint because it was just like nature. And luckily with Sound of Music you'll get to see like a, a lot of different textures because we'll be in a house for some parts and we'll be outside for other parts. It's going to be a really good, beautiful, beautiful show. I'm very excited to get started on that. Oops, painted on our reference image. That's okay. That happens in the paint shop. We get paint everywhere. But it's always important to clean up after yourself. Okay, I think now we can get started with some of our other lighter colors. I'm going to go in with uh, this, this middle color here. Oh yeah, that's great. Mm, look how it just like blends together. It's awesome. That's the, what the water does. It's very unpredictable, the water, but it helps for nature scenes like this because it just looks more real. Because that's how nature is. It just does what it wants. And now, when I'm going to do this in the big shop and do the big one that hangs in the theater, I will probably use like some watered down paint and a paintbrush on a stick. It'll be a much bigger paintbrush. And I'll tap in some of these details with that. But also for the the like base green color, I'll probably use a sprayer because then I can cover a lot of areas really fast. That always works out well. Oh, wow. And every now and then we got to look back at our picture to make sure it matches. I think we're doing pretty good. This one, since it's portal number two, it's kind of in the middle of the other two portals. So portal number one is going to be a little bit darker. And then portal number three will be a little bit lighter because we have to use light and dark to help determine distance. So things that are farther away are darker usually. They're darker, sometimes they're purple because um, the atmosphere just gets in the way of those things and it makes it look kind of purple. But it all depends on the lighting really. We'll see what we do for Sound of Music. Oh wow. So leafy. This is wonderful. I feel like I'm making a model getting to do this on a small scale. This is so cool. I don't usually get to get to do this. But when schedules change like this, you just gotta adapt and keep staying busy. Otherwise, we'll get back to work and I'll have forgotten all of my techniques. That's not true. But it's good to practice. Practice keeps your skills sharp all the time. Practice is good. Hmm. Okay, I think it's about time to go in with our lightest color. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't know if you guys like green as much as I do, but I'm just having a great time over here. So pretty. Wow. Now is probably a good time for me to break out my smaller brush. That way we can keep those lines that we drew earlier 
keep those kind of defined. Um, but I'll just do a little bit of blending with the big brush first, and then we'll get the small brush out. This is so cool. So now it's time for our small brush, and since we're toward the edge, I'll try to go a little bit lighter. See, now we're going to use this brush, a little bit smaller, a little more detail. Okay. Oh yeah. And after this all dries, I'm going to cut it out, that way um, I can stack all three of them together and see, see kind of how it's going to look in real life. Because when I'm in the shop, what I have to do to the fabric is I have to treat it so that it doesn't stretch in ways that we want. So I have to stretch it the way that we do want first. And then I have to let it dry. And then I cut out these beautiful leafy parts. Um, and then we paint it just like we're doing now. And then after it's all dry and ready, it goes to the theater and we see Sound of Music. Oops, got a little out of my lines there, but that's okay because we're cutting that part off. That'll make sense in a minute. Okay, so here we have three portals, and this is what they'll look like all hung up in the theater. We've got the first portal at the front. Portal number two is behind it. That one's shaped kind of weird, but we're doing what we can. And portal number three is at the way, way back. Yeah, this is kind of what the foliage for Sound of Music is going to look like based on these lovely designs by Bridget. Thank you for tuning in.